Hey, hey, let's go ahead and get started with a new moon in Aquarius reading. Happy new moon, you guys. Uh, make sure that you are doing all your new moon manifestations, writing down um, what it is that you want to manifest, doing whatever new moon ceremonies you guys do, you know, cleansing your home uh, and making room for all the new things that are going to try and come in. What do we got here, you guys? We've got... Um, Surrender to the divine. You and your loved ones are safe. And what do we got? New moon in Aquarius. We've got step out of your comfort zone and balance spirituality and practicality. Bottom of the deck, meditate and contemplate. So we got the new moon in Pisces and full moon in Pisces. So I think for a lot of you, you're surrendering. For some of you, you're moving homes. You are moving away because we have the you the cancer new moon here and stepping out of your comfort zone so you're letting things go and you're starting you're you're really like it's like this simultaneous letting go while new doors are opening it's like uh as you close one door the other door is already swinging open for you you know what i want to read is i want to read the new moon in aquarius because we are in the new moon in aquarius so let's see what it says aquarius is all about progress and modernity so this is the time to move forwards the new moon in Aquarius means no looking back. Change is on its way and it could come quickly. So that's what I'm saying. Um, whether you get the chance or get the change you want depends on whether or you believe you can have it and how much you're relying on others to bring it to you. This card comes with the suggestion that you may need to do things independently on your own. But be loving, not too pragmatic. Time may be of the essence when this card comes up. Aquarius energy has an electric feel to it. Certainly there is a sense that you need to let go of the past and move towards your future as soon as possible. Explore the idea that it's not what you know, but whom you know. Uh, you need to be more detached from the situation. Think outside the box will bring solutions. More pragmatism is called for and improve your karma by doing some charitable work. You know, Aquarius is about humanitarianism. So Aquarius is the sign of invention, modern advances in technology and humanity. Its energy is a little brittle. It's individual, scientific even, and relatively emotionally detached. Many people think Aquarius is a water sign because the Aquarius symbol is the water bearer but it's actually an air sign and is far more about intellect than the emotional water signs. As is this card, no matter when you draw it, dropping convention works well when with this energy. So it's asking you to drop conventional thinking. It's time, I think for a lot of you, maybe you've been sitting on the fence about something, maybe you've been contemplating something, and now it's time for you to act. And I feel like with the new moon over that moon, or um, conjunct, uh, excuse me, Pluto in Aquarius. This is the first time we've seen this here in our time in over 200 years. This is a time where things are going to get ramped up. And um, I think that there's going to be a lot of changes when it comes to, um, you know, science. There's going to be a lot of changes when it comes to, you know, even our own energy sources. I feel like there's going to be something new that comes uh, about with that, with this new moon and Pluto in Aquarius. Um, <clears throat> a lot of endings, but like I said, with those endings are new beginnings. And so you're going to have to come out of that comfort zone. You know, for some of you, you're going to have to, if you've been sitting, you know, at home and just being at home all the time, um, it's asking you to come out from behind those four walls and actually start meeting people. I know, you know, we're all kind of sick of humans. I'm not going to lie. Even I'm sick of humans. Um, I think they're all a bit crazy at this point and people don't know what the hell's going on. So uh, it can get a little weird, not going to lie, because Aquarius is very futuristic. So if you felt like the world was kind of sluggish since like last year, I would say June of last year, because we had a lot of planets go into retrograde. Uh, you know, it's usually retrograde city at the end of a year. You know, the last six months of the year is usually like where we're all kind of being held back. Uh, this is where things are going to start really pushing forward and they're going to start pushing forward very quickly. So it's not time for you to go round and round and round about situations. It's time for you to get off the fence, make a decision, surrender what needs to be surrendered and know that, you know, it, your, your family is going to be safe if you have to walk away from them or if you're heading out to school or leaving the country or, you know, um, 
you know, moving to a new city or state to get another job or, you know, just to start over. Uh, Cause I am seeing that with a lot of people. Um, but I feel like everything's going to work out. Yeah. A change in the wind. That's what I'm saying. See, they, it's like, they've got their house packed up on their back and they're just, you know, they're, they're going a different way. They're not going to continue going down the same road. You know, funny enough, we have Pisces here with, with the new moon and we have Pisces here with the full moon. Okay. It shows up twice. And then we have the number 12 here and 12 is actually the hanged man in the original writer weight to row. So uh, the hanged man is all about needing to see things from a different perspective and really being enlightened. Sorry about the lighting, you guys. I will fix this uh, as I go. Um, I'm just getting used to new surroundings. So, um, but this is about, you know, a change in the wind. You thought you were going one way and now all of a sudden the universe is like skirt and takes you this whole new way. So uh, let's keep going. New moon and Aquarius spirit. What do we got here? Yep. TikTok. TikTok. Okay. So time is up, you know, time is of the essence right now. And like I said, time is going to start speeding up. So it's like, once you make a decision, everything just starts to work in your favor with the decision that's been being made. And then what do we got here? Yeah. A leg up. So if you're needing help, okay. If you are willing to step out of this comfort zone, help is on the way. Um, there's going to be people here that are going to um, help you on this new journey that you're going to be taking. And what do we got here? Yep, new communities. Uh, you know, and like I said, Aquarius is all about community. It's about people. It's about, you know, um, it's about being practical though, okay? When it comes to the people that you're around and when it comes to the communities that you're around. But I do feel like there's people in your community that can also help you. Look at this, you guys. We got Treasure Island here, okay? So again, this is another card of, you know, them picking up everything and, you know, maybe, you know, backpacking across Europe, maybe for some of you, maybe that's something that you're thinking, but others of you, maybe you could be going across water, by water, you know, maybe you're going from land to water, right? Um, cause I do see a lot of water here. So maybe for some of you, you need to be surrounded by water, but you need to also, you know, find your community, find your tribe. I think that it's time, you know, if you're surrounded by a bunch of people who, you know, never reach out to you or, you know, see how you're doing, then maybe it's time for you to stop doing for them and start doing for you. Uh, the choices that you're making, you know, I think for a lot of us, we always worry about our family. We worry about our children you know, and what they're going to think or how they're going to be affected. And I feel like this energy is actually really good. Um, I want to read the treasure Island. Okay. Since it is the overall energy. So it is the number nine. So nine is about not giving up. Okay. Nine is about perseverance. It's about moving forward and protecting everything that you worked so hard for. Um, nine, let's see, let's go here. So Treasure Island says the law of attraction, bringing dreams into fruition, the results of positive thinking made manifest abundance appearing as if from nowhere, financial gains and the sharing of good fortune. So like I was saying, you know, people are going to be here to share and help along the way. You've worked hard and acted upon your unwavering belief in abundance. And suddenly in the midst of it all, you hit the jackpot. So I feel like if you're willing to make these moves, even though they may be scary, but you're willing to take yourself out of your comfort zone, it's like that's where the treasure is. You have to go where you're being guided to go, listening to your intuition. That's what these Pisces cards represent. It's like you're getting downloads from your spirit guides, angels, and ancestors on what your next move is. So it says, you have uncovered the map to buried treasure and tapped the unlimited potential within you. What you must hone now is your ability to recognize when X marks the spot. Because some of these golden opportunities may be obvious, but others may be so readily, may not be so readily apparent. So, you know, it's, it's not going to be readily apparent unless you're absolutely willing to go on the journey. And then it's like the universe kind of uncovers all these different areas that you didn't think about. But if you would have listened to that light bulb moment, because it is your, ruled by Uranus and Uranus is actually squaring this new moon, expect the unexpected, expect these light bulb moments to come in. You could ever end up even hearing something from about someone you know, maybe they made a drastic move and it's something that maybe you were wanting to do, but you were too afraid to do it. You know, tap into that energy of that individual and get moving. 
So it says, um, trust your intuition to light your way now as you enter this truly prosperous phase where all the long hard work navigating your inner life is now paying off externally in all aspects of your life at this time you have good fortune don't forget to enjoy it and share it with others as treasure shared multiplies like magic so you know a lot of people will hold back from being able to help because they're so afraid of not having enough for themselves but you know um, I, I posted this video yesterday when you choose money over love you lose every time so be careful of that um, this is definitely, you know, if you're, like I said, if you're willing to take this leap of faith, if you, it's like you take one step towards the gods and they'll take 10 steps towards you. So let's keep going. Oh, funny enough, look at the bottom of the deck, you guys, we got the star and the star is, all, is the Aquarius card in, in this deck and in, in every deck, sorry. Um, but Aquarius is about, you know, the stars. It's about, you know, having the stars align for you. I think it's about quick manifestation also. So really important that, you know, we, we think about what are, what are our hopes, wishes, and dreams? What is it that we are looking to do? Because I feel like in the next six months, you could definitely find it. We have the Page of Wands here, and the Page of Wands is all about, you know, exciting opportunities coming at you, yeah. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles, which is, you know, slow moving, and maybe, you know, you've been... I feel like for a lot of you, you've been really contemplating your future and really looking out upon the horizon and trying to make a decision about how you want your future to be. And I feel like for a lot of you, you know, you feel like time is running out possibly and it was it's time for you to cut out and, you know, cut out any of the bullshit. We have the Ace of Swords here coming up next and the Ace of Swords is having that clarity and coming to those conclusions and it is sometimes a double-edged sword. It can be, you know, yeah, clarity, but it can also be painful at that, especially if you touch that blade. But I do feel like it. there is a brand new opportunity and there is clarity that is going to come about. And, I, and like I said, you know, that's also a light bulb moment that could come in and all of a sudden you're like, oh my God, that's it. That's where I'm going to go and that's what I'm going to do. One more card for the collective for the new moon and we've got the five of pentacles and it showed up in the reverse. So this is about you coming out of the cold, okay? Maybe for some of you, you've had financial difficulties or you have, you know, <clears throat> maybe felt all alone. But trust me, you have an entire community that is waiting for you to show up and is going to be highly disappointed if you don't. Bottom of the deck, we have the world card here. So I do see travel. I see many, many cards of traveling here. Okay, and then we also have this card of travel, even though it doesn't look like he's moving. This doesn't look like he's moving. Like I said, slow, slow, quick, quick. It's like all of a sudden things are just going to start happening quicker and quicker. And um, and then it's going to be up to you to uh, start moving. The world card is about ending. Okay, endings and brand new beginnings. It's about ending cycles. Okay, and you know, for a lot of you, maybe you felt stuck. Maybe you felt like you know you couldn't get out of the walls. Of, you know, the kind confines of all these walls that you put around yourself. Because unless you're bound and gagged in the basement, you're never stuck. You just have to get up. And you have to make a decision to get up and and do something else. And you know, maybe it comes in slowly. But you know, I think for a lot of you, it's like the spark of a brand new idea and it's exciting but then all of a sudden it can scare the absolute shit out of you because you know whenever you're about ready to make big moves it's like your ego tries to step in and talk you out of it so it's really important that you know if, if you're really wanting something new for your future it's going to be very important that you come out of your comfort zone very very important that's what it, this is saying we also have the north node being transited it's transiting chiron right now in aries so Aries is all about taking action. Aries is all about, you know, uh, healing from one situation, but also being willing to take action. Chiron is the wounded healer. So, um, you know, having all these transits that are all happening at the same time as this new moon, where the new moon is now squaring over to Uranus, which is its, uh, you know, Aquarius is the, is the, Uranus is the ruler of Aquarius. This is no joke. This is like where it, you're going to get this fire lit under your ass and it's going to be time for you to get moving. So, you know, I feel like, you know, a lot of you, 
maybe you have your head up in the clouds, but it's asking you to look at the reality of your situation. And I think that the scary part would be being in the same place next this time next year as you are now. So I think that more than ever, it's time for you to, you know, after the world card comes the fool. And the fool is all about taking that leap of faith and jumping into the unknown, not, not knowing if you're jumping five feet down or 500 feet down, but willing to take that leap regardless, knowing that the divine has your back. So this is an amazing new moon that we have coming up for us, you guys. I feel like you're going to get the clarity. Somebody might reach out and call you, talk to you, um, and help, you know, help you, um, you know, make some big decisions in your life. But it's going to take you reaching out and asking for that help. And that might be hard for us to do sometimes. But if you're tired of being in this position where you feel wounded, you feel out in the cold, you feel like, you know, nobody's there to help you. I feel like that is about ready to end. And with Aquarius, there is plenty of people out there that want to help in more ways than you could ever imagine. Anyway, you guys, happy new moon in Aquarius. Be safe out there. Uh, you know, and kind of keep an eye on what's going on in the world because we do have the world card here. Um, I also, uh, before I end this, I am getting something here about, you might get a text message, phone call, email, something about the World Wide Web, okay? And for others of you, like I was saying, you might be backpacking in Europe, you might be traveling the world is what I'm getting. So there's a vast world waiting for you to show up and it's going to be highly disappointed if you don't. So you guys like this video, share if you will. Um, it does help my channel grow. Comment. Let me know how this energy works out for you guys. I love you all so very much. If you get a chance, go check me out over on Facebook, Instagram, and Rumble under the footsteps to peace. You guys, I love you all so much and we will chat again soon. Take care.